click the bell icon to turn on notifications. In this module, I'll be discussing layer masks, which are a very important part of the editing process and something that I use extremely often. Layer masks allow you to show and hide areas of your layers without permanently erasing them. In this way, you can perform non-destructive editing that can always be reversed. You can use layer masks on different types of layers, like your photos themselves or adjustment layers. I'm going to expand the size of this layers panel just by clicking and dragging it so that you can see the names of these layers more clearly. When you make an adjustment layer, it automatically comes with a layer mask. You can also add a layer mask to a layer by making sure the layer you want is selected and then going up here to this icon which says add layer mask. Now this layer has a layer mask. The way to use a layer mask is to use your brush tool and paint with black, white, or a gray color. So to demonstrate some things about layer masks, I'm going to show this gradient fill layer because I think it will be pretty obvious what I'm doing. So I'm just going to pull up my brush tool here. I'm going to make my brush size larger so you can see it better. And right now you can see that the entire layer mask is fully white. Where the layer mask is white, it shows everything on that layer. I'll need to make sure that the layer mask itself is selected so it has this light blue box around it. Make sure you don't have this selected because you'll be painting on the gradient fill itself, not the mask. So make sure the mask is selected. And I'm going to make sure that the black color is active for this brush. Where you paint black on the layer mask, it hides that part completely. So I'll go ahead and start doing that. You can see that this layer mask is being hidden where I'm painting over it. And now you can see in this layer mask thumbnail that there has been black painted over. And where you see the white parts, the gradient fill is visible. Where you see the black parts, the gradient fill has been hidden. You can always select white again and go back over in areas that you want to show. So it's completely reversible. You can do this as many times as you want. And I'm also going to show you that you can paint with gray. So I'll do a middle gray here. And if you paint on a layer mask with gray, it might be a little hard to see in this demonstration, but a gray color will make your layer mask semi-opaque. If the color gray you use to paint on your layer mask is more toward white, it will show more of your layer, and if it's more toward black, it will show less. So that's the important thing you need to remember with layer masks. White is to show and black is to hide. So we've seen before how you can make a selection from an image, and with a layer mask, you can actually do the same thing. To show you that, I'm going to hide this gradient fill layer, and I'm going to go down to this background copy layer where the image of the plant actually is. You can paint around the edges of things you want to show and hide with your layer mask and create something like a selection that you can always adjust and change later. So I'm going to set black as my foreground color for this brush, and you can see now if I paint over the edges pretty roughly, of this plant, I can essentially mask out the plant. Now you can see in this layer mask thumbnail that I've painted black around the plant, and the plant itself is white, so only the plant is showing, and the background has this checkerboard that tells you it's transparent. Here's an extra tip for you. If you want to quickly change the size of your brush, you can hit the left bracket key as many times as you want, or you can hold it down to get a smaller brush size. Then you can go in and paint your mask with greater detail. And you can do the same thing to make your brush size larger. You just hit the right bracket key 
or you can hold it down until you get the size you want. This is a pretty handy keyboard shortcut that I actually use a lot. And if you want to quickly switch between your foreground and your background color, you can hit the letter X on your keyboard. So now you can see the gray color is in the foreground right now and black is in the background. If I hit X, it switches these and you can do that as many times as you like. You can also use layer masks with selections. For example, I'm going to reset my layer mask to just a plain white. And there are multiple ways you can do this. I'm going to right click on this layer mask thumbnail. I'm going to delete the layer mask. I'm going to use auto select to just quickly select this plant. And now I'm going to add layer mask. And you can see that this has automatically created a layer mask where the plant is selected in white and the background is painted over in black so we don't see it. Another way you can use a selection with a layer mask is I'm just going to go to select, reselect, and I'll show that gradient fill layer again. I'll go to the layer mask and make sure that's selected. You can use your paint bucket tool to fill in the selection with black or white and now you can see that on the gradient fill layer it's hidden where the plant is. I'm going to undo that and you can also go to select inverse and this has selected everything that's not the plant. I'm going to go to this layer mask and I'll bring up my gray color. So I'm going to use the paint bucket tool and fill this whole selection with gray. Now you can see that the area outside of the plant is showing through a little bit. It's only showing through partially because I filled it with gray. I'm going to fill this selection with black again and show you how to apply a layer mask. So now that this layer mask is pretty stark, it's completely black and white, I'll show you how to apply a layer mask. You can right click, and if you apply the layer mask, this takes away the layer mask and completely removes the pixels in your layer that were black on the mask. So make sure that you only do this if you know you won't need to edit that layer mask again. I'm going to deselect with Control D or Command D. And from there you can add a new layer mask again and you can paint in it, but you only have the pixels available to work with that were left after you applied the layer mask. So again, make sure you only do this if you know you will not need any of that pixel information from your image. That wraps up this video about layer masks. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.